Hey everybody. <clears throat> I'm just going to see if I'm in the right spot. That's like my fear. Here I am. Good. Hi. When you are here, just say hello so we know you're here. Hi, Lori. Live got some new colors going on. It's like green when people come on. And I can add them, I guess. Hi, Dominique. Lori and Dominique, we were just on a thing from Tom's training, um, um, a competition, and our team won. Woo woo! So that's exciting. Hi, Marty. Hi, Regina. So we have some prizes coming our way. Hi, Amanda. Yes, it was awesome. We're getting so much good information. Um, so it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Hi, Katie. Hi, Danielle. All right. All right. Well, let's get started. And I uh, hope everyone had a good Monday. Mine was, um, it was Monday, so I'm hoping for days that are better. Oh, I'm excited. Believe me, I'm trying not to wake my kids up. You guys know I'm loud. For those of you that know me, I have a high volume, so I'm trying to keep it low. Um, hi, Virginia. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it low this evening. Also, since we got rid of like that big, gaudy, ugly, this wall used to have a big, ugly, like grandma um, china cabinet. So now it echoes. I know I'm loud. So it's, it is what it is, you know? All right. So let's talk about a couple things that are important first because we kind of switched up tonight because. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Jess on blast, as my students say. Jess switched us all up on our trainings. You know, we plan out six months in advance, and um, Jess switched us all up because she decided to, she decided to um, do a party training on Facebook a couple weeks ago that we didn't have planned and all this stuff. So then when we had party party parties planned for tonight we were like okay we're getting really repetitive because we keep talking about parties but we know that that is the focus of the company um is the home party and partying in general so um we wanted to talk about hostess coaching because a lot of times people have difficulty um with either retaining their party dates um meaning that you know people don't cancel um or they have no success with, or they have um, unsuccessful parties. Um, so either no one shows up, excuse me, whether it's online or whether it's in home. Hi, Joyce. Uh, I'm not hating, I just don't like the grandma cabinet. Anyways, so I'm gonna stay on track tonight. So um, we figured hostess coaching and just some tips is a good place to talk. So that's what this should be. It should be conversation. Um, it should be conversational. You should be asking questions or sharing ideas that you have. I am by no means an expert on hostess coaching. Um, there are things that I've done throughout the years that have worked for me um, for in-home parties, for some hosts and not worked with others. Um, you know, there's not really anything foolproof, but there are certain keys to host coaching that can really help you in your business. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna get started. So anyways, um, a couple things. Please make sure, um, first of all, I shouldn't say if, please make sure you're registered for Rally. Rally is April 21st, it's a Saturday. And it is going to be the biggest pink zebra party in history. So um, it will be fun. From what I understand, it's going to be a party atmosphere. So it's going to be very fun and, and interactive. 
Um, and the company is going to be sharing information with us about, um, about their wig, which they've shared the wildly important goal. Um, and they are going to be sharing different things about parties. Okay. So I want you to make sure that you are at one of those rallies. So no matter where you live, whatever you can drive, if you're sick of seeing the same people, um, you know, whatever you want to do, road trip it, okay? But you need to get to a rally. It's $25 for a consultant. If you want to take a friend um, who's thinking about joining or a supportive friend or family member, it's 10 bucks to take a guest, okay? Um, so yeah, rally. The deadline is this Saturday, the 31st, to sign up, I believe. It's either Friday or Saturday, but you need to sign up for rally. Um, make sure that you are there. Another thing is, hi Janelle, another thing is reunion. So make sure that you are making it a goal to get to reunion. Um, I know we always talk about this, but it is a great experience um, to be at reunion. You get a lot of training. Aside from the training, you gain a lot more. Um, you gain friends that will be like family. That's why we call it family reunion. Um, it sounds crazy, but there are some amazing, amazing people that are part of Pink Zebra. Um, not just the founders or just the people from home office. They are all amazing, and it's wonderful to get to meet those people. But, um, oh, that's okay, Julie. It happens. Um, but think about reunion. It's in Louisville, Kentucky this year, so if you are on the East Coast, it's a little bit easier to get there. Um, well, I guess we were on the East Coast last year, technically, but it was Florida. Um, it's in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you're in the Pittsburgh area um, or, you know, around here, it's not a bad drive. Um, it's not a bad idea to drive because you get a lot of free stuff and um, you can buy catalogs there, which is pretty awesome. So there's, those are heavy. It's not something you want to ship home, not something you want to like deal with and cart through an airport. So if you can drive, that's cool. They also, um, they also lowered the amount of the, they lowered the cost. Um, it's $99 to go. And then you can add on a swag, a swag add on. Um, it's 50 bucks if you want, and it is worth, uh, over a hundred bucks. I believe they said it's at least a hundred dollars. Uh, if you spend that 50, so 150 bucks, um, to go, it used to be, to give you an idea, it used to be $250 for registration. So, um, they took a uh, hundred bucks, 150 off if you're not getting the extra swag. So it's $99. Please make that a goal to go. Um, think about it this way. Uh, if you sell $600 in pink zebra, that pays for your registration and your swag. Um, because you make 150 bucks off $600 party. So think about that, um, make it a priority. It's an investment in your business, it's an investment in you. Um, you know, you should always be learning and growing as a consultant. Um, whether or not you want to work your way through the career plan or whatever, or you love your job or hate your job, or it doesn't matter, okay? If you want this part-time, full-time, you should still invest some time and money in yourself and growing and learning. And it's just awesome to sort of rub elbows with the other people that are there um, that, sorry, I'm getting messages. Um, it's great to rub elbows with the messages, um, not messages, rub elbows with the people on other teams and across the US um, and just sort of connect with them and um, network. Um, some of the greatest friends that I have with Pink Zebra are not on this team. And I know Jess says that all the time. Um, so I don't want to like beat a dead horse, but it's amazing. Um, Amanda, I'll message you later. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yes, Dominique. So Dominique's a great example. Um, Dominique joined, oh my gosh, Dominique is on Jess's team, but I remember Dominique joined, um, not too long before reunion last year, before the cutoff to join, to go to reunion. And she took a chance and signed up. She was only a pink zebra. She was only a zebra for a couple months, I want to say. Um, and she went and it was just, it changes your business. Um, and meeting other people and networking with them and getting ideas, you know, on how different things 
like, oh my gosh, like I, I, people keep canceling their parties, you know, and they might say, oh, that was happening to me. And I tried X, Y, Z, like just getting new, fresh ideas. Um, you know, just not even from leaders, like from other consultants. I mean, there's tons of amazing people in Pink Zebra. Okay. So it's a great time to go and do that. Um, meeting people from all over. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Seeing your friends that you already made, maybe at rally, you made friends, maybe you made friends on consultant corner because honestly, like social media is crazy, right? We feel like we know someone, we might become their friend on Facebook. We might see their post on consultant corner and their ideas. And we're like, Oh my God, or see their post on our team page. And we're like, Oh my God, let me become friends with them. And we're like, Oh, their kids are so cute. Right. And you feel like, you know them, you feel like you've known them forever. Um, that's how I felt with Amanda Sawa before I got to meet her in Texas, um, on my trip, on my director trip. I just felt like I knew her and her daughter Riley already because she would send me videos and whatever, but you get what I'm saying. So you get to see your friends. Um, you learn, you're the first to see the new fall and winter line, which is insane. Um, it's always so exciting. It's always so much fun. They always do a great job at revealing it. They literally set up, uh, an amazing display. It's absolutely insane. It's basically like a display that they would use for their catalog shoot for their catalog photo shoot. Um, and again, I'm going to repeat this. You can buy fall winter catalogs. Like you don't get one catalog, you get to buy packs and you can buy as many as you want. So it's a good time to be there. It's a good thing to do. And it's a tax write off for your business. So, um, you know, whatever money you put in, you can use as a write off as an expense, um, for your pink zebra business. So all things to think about. Okay. All things to think about. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm sorry. I get like go off on a tangent, but it's a lot of fun. You won't, um, you don't want to miss it. Um, so make sure you're there. And the reason that they reduce the rate, they listen to us because we kept saying, you know what, 250 bucks, even though it's a great experience, it's kind of steep for people who are just starting out or it's kind of steep for, you know, consultants who are, that's their only income or whatever, or anything, you know, life is expensive, right? So they listen and they found a way to reduce the price and, um, yeah, so let's show them they are projecting, um, that 900 people will be there or that will sign up and let's beat it. Let's show them different. Okay. All right. So that's that. All right. So let's talk about host coaching. So in the past we've talked about, oh my gosh, we've been through a lot together, right? Especially if you've been here. Um, we've been through, hi Deanna, go help with homework. Oh, good luck. Um, we've been through, Facebook 30 minute parties. We've been through a week or two week long parties. We've been through, you know, texting parties. Some of us still use all of these. Okay. Um, home parties, right? We know that home parties are sort of are, they are, they're the, they're the sweet spot with parties. If you can get into somebody's home, um, please do. Okay. And that sounds creepy. Hi Yvonne. Um, but the, the difference is you know, your average home party is a $437 party. I just closed a home party that was 580 bucks. Okay. Um, you know, that is way higher than your average online party. Now I know people are having online parties that are 600 and a thousand and all that, but that's not every single party. So the thing about having a home party is that somebody has cleaned their home. They've made snacks or bought snacks they have put on, you know, put themselves out for their guests. So their guests, when they attend, they know that they're there to buy something, if that makes sense. It's like, okay, well, Sherry invited me here, so I'm going to buy something to support her um, because this is a fun night and she bought snacks and all my friends are here and yada, yada. Okay. So people come to home parties and they never really go they always go expecting to buy something. Okay, so that is the best pot for you, the be the sweet spot for parties, uh, period. Now, 
it's amazing because we have, yes, and drinks. Um, we have, I feel like every home party theme that I have like in my list when I bring this up to hosts and we'll get to this point, but every single one has to do with alcohol. And I'm like, really? And when I was pregnant with Ethan, we came out with, um, we had, um, sparkling sangria and I mix seriously everything with sangria. Even to the point where like some of my hosts were like, you really like sangria, don't you? And I'm like, well, I really like sangria and I can't drink it. So yeah, we have peach sangria and we have, I don't know. I was mixing everything with sangria. It was insane. Hi, Michelle. Um, so yes, home parties are the best place. Drinks, food, fun. They remember it. Um, they come expecting to buy and it's way easier to book from a home party. Okay. So they're, they're much more successful. Um, now the nice thing is we do have the option for online and I'm not knocking online parties. I just don't want to see people wasting their time. Right. And we could go off on a tangent about like events and things like that. And you guys know, I talk to you about this all the time and just asking for asking people who put on events certain questions. I never want to see a team member, someone on this team posting from an event and it's like, come visit me because there's no one here, right? So home parties, they're awesome. If you, obviously you still have to do host coaching, um, but they are an amazing opportunity for you to get your product out there, for you to get your name out there, for you to book more parties, for you to network with other people, um, networking with other direct sales people, networking with just other women in the area or whatever. Um, it's just a nice time. I love home parties too, Lori. Like I, I was, when I was at my one a couple weeks ago, I'm like, seriously, can't believe I get paid to do this. Like this is kind of crazy. Um, but that is our sweet spot. But the thing is, we do have the capability to do online parties, and that's awesome, okay? My mom did home interiors when I was like, I don't know, she did it for 15 years, but I was young, and I used to help her, and when she'd go to put the parties in, it was so archaic that you had to like get your phone and punch in the number, and then punch in the quantity, and then hit the star button, and then punch in the next item number and punch in the quantity and hit the star button. It was like insane. They didn't have the internet. Like they didn't have a website. You couldn't order online. Um, we had no social media. We had, you know, there was no online presence for direct sellers. So it's a huge market that we definitely want to tap into. Just not make that our main focus. Um, unless you need to, like Jess is traveling right now. Her main focus is online parties. Um, so, you know, you just have to get really creative online parties, your host could make or break your party. That's just bottom line. Hi, Jess. Her ears must have been burning. I was just talking about her. Um, so online parties, your host makes or breaks that party, no doubt. But you have to be prepared in order to help them have a successful party. And that's why we're here to chat tonight. Um, so home parties. Let's start there real quick. Um, just an idea. So I don't know how many of you went to um, reunion last year? I know, Jess. Um, how many of you went to a reunion last year? But they had Misty Kearns there, and she had this thing, her CEO of me packet that was available. I know Jess got it, I think. I don't know. I know Michelle Malloy got it. Anyways, I'm sure one of them wouldn't, wouldn't mind posting this one page. It's the party planner page. I really like it because it has all the information at the top. And you know, I made one of these back in the day, which I can post as well as soon as I find it on my computer. Um, I made it myself and it's, you post it, you put all the information up here and you sort of have a checklist of everything that you do for a home party. And it seems like mindless, but when it's there and you can check it or highlight it off, um, then you know you've done it. So you're not forgetting and you're being a good consultant. Um, so it tells you like host coaching checklist, deliver or mail the packet. Once you've done that, check it off. Um, and this is supposed to be within 72 hours of the booking. Explain party success tips and host rewards, discuss party theme and refreshments, mail thank you for dating a postcard. Uh, that's a thank you for having, you know, setting a date, okay? Yeah, I will post mine. Um, it was actually Brie, a girl Brie who was on the team, one of my really good friends. She started it and we sort of worked on that in a fundraising one. <laughs> R.I.P. 
a fundraising one and um, and an online party one. So I'll post the ones that I have. The online party one is going to be super or party on the go. It's either online party or party on the go. It's going to be outdated. Um, I can try and update it actually. Um, but yes, it does improve your customer service, like Jess said. Then it tells you like a time frame of what you should be doing. Like two weeks before the party, you should be confirming party details. You should be reminding the host about the guest list two to three weeks before. Sending save the date postcards or emails. Sending up an online link. So I'm not going to read this whole thing to you because somebody will post it. <laughs> okay, Michelle. Um, good. I'm glad. Somebody will post it and then um, I can post the ones I have or Michelle can post the ones I have. So, but they're just good tools. Like I'm a paper person. My, my brother gets... I get on my brother's nerves because he's a computer person, you know, and he's just like, I just don't understand, like, why you use a passion planner. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's like, you can just put it in your phone. You have an iPhone. I'm like, because I forget half the crap in my calendar in my iPhone. And I can highlight it off. And it gives me a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction when I can use a pretty highlighter and highlight that I did something. So, yeah. Hi, Sarah. All right. So, host coaching um sheets which we will share with you and you can adjust to your liking for whatever types of parties you do or for how you co coach your host please feel free to chime in if you do anything differently like at this time in host coaching um as we're going along okay another thing that is super key is that you send a host packet i can't believe like how many people i talk to and i'm telling you i've been guilty of it before too like and forgot to send a host packet. That's why I need this sheet, right? Or the other sheets. Um, that's when I started to create those sheets is because it was like, oh my God, I didn't send her a host packet and her party is in three days. Like, that's not cool. So in your host packet, I'm actually working on one for one of my people now, but I literally use one of these, you know, nothing fun or cute about it. I know Danielle has like really cute pink ones. Angie Ditzler has clear ones so they can see your... They can see your catalog in it and it's like free advertising to the mailman, right? It's a pretty good idea. Everyone who touches the mail sees pink zebra, which is a good idea. Okay, so I pulled a page from Sandy Parkey's book and sharpied it up. <coughs> it doesn't have to be anything fancy. The help sheets. Yeah, I'll post them, Katie. No worries. Um, another thing I had a couple extra of um from doing rally is one of these so i'm throwing this in and explains our heroes program because obviously you're going to coach your host and talk to her about if they have a 500 dollars party or when they have a 500 hundred dollar party they donate a free day of daycare to a single mom who's working or in school which is amazing a lot of hosts um will bust their butt just to make sure that they donate that free day of daycare they want to help Okay, they want to help those people. They want to help single moms. Maybe they were a single mom. Maybe they their mom was a single mom, right? Um, so they, they have a special spot in their heart for that. Um, you want to include some, well, you don't want to. If you want to, you can include something like a host tic-tac-toe. There's a lot of variations of these. Um, actually, you can do one by yourself. You can make a tic-tac-toe board and fill in whatever you want. Um, I always write right here what my host gets extra if she makes a tic-tac-toe. Um, so some of the boxes are like 500 more in party sales, collect 150 in orders prior to your party, 15 people, not kids, in attendance at your party. You book another pink zebra party at your party, like another one for yourself. So say it's, you know, I don't know, March, and you book a party for September. Then you get to cross this, this box off. Um, two bookings from your party get you a thing. Get someone from your party to join. That's crazy. Like my pink zebra page on Facebook. Keep the original date of your party so they don't change the date. They get a check off and get five orders after your party from people who didn't come. So that's post orders. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can put on here. And I know that people have seen tons of stuff they can use and tons of different tic-tac-toes that are floating around out there. My suggestion to you is, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but make sure um, you're looking at truly what what is on there. Um, I see a lot of graphics posted like on photo pages and on consultant corner, like, Oh, I'm doing this deal for St. Patrick's day. And you're just looking at it like, why you're losing money. So please just make sure that like, it's something worthwhile to you. So, and that's worth it's, it's all connected to your goals, right? So it might be worth it for you to give, I don't know if you want to, 
if you want your sales to be over $2,000 that month and you have a ways to go, you know, it might be worth it for you to give a free simmer pot if someone books a party with you. That's your prerogative. It's your business, right? But just make sure that whatever you offer, whatever specials you offer to your host, whatever specials you offer for this, whatever sales or bundles you offer to the people at your party, they're worthwhile for you and you're gaining something from it. You're not just giving, 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 giving. Okay. Please make sure it's smart for you. All right. Also in my um, host coach, host, host packet, host coaching, host packet, I give, um, order forms. Okay. Now I used to give these other printable order forms, but it's not a good idea. Um, because Julie, you can do the tic-tac-toe for home or online. You would just have to change this because obviously you would want, um, online theoretically, We'll get into it in a second. Hang on one second. So you want order forms in there. I used to use the ones that don't have, that aren't these, but I like these because if someone orders, then your host can go like this and give them their copy, okay? So then they have a record of their purchase as well, all right? And you don't have to worry because everything's on there that they have to fill out if they're paying by credit card, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so use these. Um, they're available in your back office if you run out of them. And I have one sample here. I normally send um, for host packets um, if they're far away and it's a home party. Not far away, but like one of my parties a couple weeks ago was an hour, an hour away. So I sent her like five of these in different scents. And I just tried to pick them from different categories. So I might have sent a fruity, an exotic, a woodsy, a floral, a bakery, you know, a, a whatever. Um, yes, every way to win should benefit you. You're right, Jess. So for host packets for far away people that are having home parties, I do these. Okay. For host packets for people who are having online parties, I do the same thing. I send about five samples. Um, for people who are not close by, who are having a party, like my sister had this last. So she took, you know, the party on the go bag. And there's a lot of ways you can do it. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. You don't need to have one of these. Okay, although there is that booking incentive this month, don't forget. Booking eight parties gets you two free of these. And they are really cute. They're fabric and they're really nice if you haven't seen them. So it has paisley on either side. It's just a walking advertisement for Pink Zebra. It's got the pocket for your business cards. You always want to put business cards in there. If I do this style of party on the go with this bag, I put scoops in. All right, and I put the scoops in. I put about 12 or 15 in from different categories. I don't put all the scoops in. I put 12 or 15 and I make sure they're labeled. Um, then I put in a jar of a current scent just so they can see the size of the sprinkles. Okay. Now, if I do one of my other bags, I have a couple of these still made up. Okay, so these were kits from um, Joanne Fabrics. You can put 25 cents in them. It's compact, that's why I like it. Um, and I slide it into the bag. I got my bags that like the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be pink, cannot be pink, can be zebra, cannot be zebra, it doesn't matter. Make sure you have business cards, make sure you have order forms. Again, I would use these order forms because they can give them a receipt. Um, make sure you have it maybe I, I usually do two catalogs because it never fails. Someone snatches one of their catalogs or they want to take it home to show so-and-so, and then they'll have another catalog. At least two catalogs, your tic-tac-toe, and all that stuff. I also include um, the opportunity brochure, okay, and possibly the quick start brochure, and a couple of the little purse catalogs. Um, so that if someone like wants to take one with them, they can take it. Make sure your label is on everything or your name's on everything. You don't have to be fancy. You can use a Sharpie. Um, another thing I add into the host coaching packet is the wish list. This is so key. So I know I've talked to you guys about um, fundraisers in length. And I always tell you that if the, con if the organization of the fundraiser doesn't have a goal, you should take all the forms you created and throw them in the garbage, right? That's irrelevant now because we don't have a fundraiser. I can't even talk about it. Okay. 
Okay, anyways. Um, but we have an amazing tool in our back office. It's under, I wrote this down because I don't want to tell you the wrong. It's definitely under resources. Okay, and it's called the host coaching packet. Um, and it's just simple. It has tips for you to have a successful party. It's like a note for your host. Um, and I think this is mainly meant for a, a home party, but they could use it for an online party as well. It says invite, share the catalog, share the party link, share your excitement. It has their party date, date time, and location. Then there's a page with the host rewards box that's on the back of our catalog. Hi, Rachel. And there is a um, wish list spot for your host to write down everything that they want. Okay, so you should tell your host when you talk to her, hey, I want you to look through the catalog and I want you to tell me, I want you to write down everything you want. Don't look at the price. Write down everything that you would like to have for your home. Every scent you think you'd like to have, every shade, every warmer, whatever. Diffusers, whatever the whatever your heart desires. Okay, go through the catalog before your party and do your wish list. That's key because that's their goals. That's what they want out of their party. Now, sure, you know, a lot of people, and I know some of you are doing the surveys um, with your customers or your friend list that um, you know we've been doing through this challenge. Oh, that's okay, Rachel. You can always rewatch later too. Um, you're welcome to come on anytime, pop on and pop off. We know life happens. Um, but you, um, if you're doing that challenge, there's part of it where you make a survey for your customers and you have them take the survey or you call them and ask them the questions. And the number one thing that people said on my surveys was the reason they host a party the number one reason was to help out the person who's selling it. So, you know, they either helped a friend or a family member because they're a consultant. And I have no doubt they're helping, right? And then another top reason was to spend time with people. But guess what beat out spending time with people? Free stuff, okay? Free stuff, right? So, free stuff. So, like, Lori and Dominique and Jess, you guys can chime in because you're in that, um, you're in that, that challenge as well with Tom, but you know, the, and anyone who's doing it, I know Michelle's working on it on the little group that we have. Um, but you know, tell me what your people said, but mine went to help the consultant cause it's my friend or family member free stuff. And then to spend time with family and friends. Okay. So they, no matter what they say to you, they're looking for free stuff, right? That's why I have a party, right? Um, so have them do that, uh, the, the wish list. Okay. It's key. All right. Even if you don't use this packet, um, have them use the wish list, have them use a different wish list. There's a different one loaded in the back office too. I believe it was from Julian Jones. It's just like plain black and white and it just says wish list on the top. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but have them know what they want from their party. Okay, they want the freebies. Yeah, Jess, so yours is freebies as well. All right, and then the third page is the guest planner, and it has 40 guests, and it gives them the ideas. It's like that 40 guests in five minutes thing for relatives, for friends, for coworkers, for neighbors, for church people, for social group contacts, for contacts to your kids, for people from places you shop, for people for, who love our products, for people you would like to know better, and for relatives, friends, okay? And Dominique got freebies, and Lori got freebies, Love hanging out with friends and playing games. Cool. Yeah, so the other thing, you know, you want to make your party fun for sure. Playing games was a big thing on a lot of the surveys we did in the main group. Um, people want to have fun with their friends. They want to play games um, and all of that. All right. So other than the um, checklist that we have for home the one I have in this one and the online one that I have that needs revamped. I know Jess was working on a checklist because she's been doing the week long Facebook party from Friday to Friday um, and posting and she um, has added people to that new and improved Facebook page. If you're not on there, it's a linked group to Paisley Freedom right here on this page. So you can go to the linked groups and you can request to join I don't know if it's a request to join thing or not. You might just be able to join, but it's called new and improved Facebook parties. If you're not on there, it's a wealth of information. It's very helpful um, on posts if you want to do like the week long scenario with a Facebook party. 
Um, those are the ones that people like Krista Clay and Christy Bettenhausen are having, you know, $600,000, $800,000 Facebook parties with. Um, obviously, you're going to coach your host differently, a little differently with the Facebook parties. Um, the big thing is coaching your host, the host packet, and your conversation are key. So, um, yeah, it's improved justice. So your host coaching... The conversation is key. So you need to find out one of the things that I love on here is the preferred contact of your person, right? Like, do they want a phone, email, text, or Facebook message? Okay. Um, because that means the world, right? So like, um, for example, you know, um, somebody might, I don't know, have young kids or whatever, and they can't like answer the phone after 8 p.m., right? It's sort of crazy, but maybe they can't answer the phone after 8 p.m. Maybe they're busy with their kids. So they prefer texting, right? Find out how they prefer to be contacted and use that way. Use that way. Like my sister, she doesn't check her email. She does not check her personal email. She's on email all day at work. She doesn't check it. So if you send her an email, it gets like lost in an abyss for like three months till she decides to check her email if she's looking for a Toys R Us coupon or whatever, okay? So you don't email her. Like if you email her, you email her work just because it gets lost. So knowing the way that they prefer to be contacted is best, you know, obviously the best way to do it. Um, you, you find that out by communicating with them. If your contact can be um, in person with them, like your host coaching session, so you can give them a party on the go, you can give them their host packet and you can explain everything to them in person, that's obviously best. If you can't be in person, maybe you can do video conference or video chat or FaceTime or Facebook Messenger video. Um, you know, we have so much technology that's helpful to us for host coaching now that we never had, you know, people never had in the past. We have a lot to set us up for success. And I know sometimes it's awkward, but it's a little bit more personable and better if you can get on back and forth. Um, if that's not able to happen, try the phone. If that's not able to happen, have a text conversation, right? Make sure you write a note and put it with their host packet, okay? Like, oh, let me know what your, you know, wish, wish list is. Snap a picture and send it to me. I can't wait to help you earn everything so that you know that they are, you know, going through the motions of making that goal for themselves. Um, get your host goals. Find out, you know, after you send their packet, you know, okay, I'm going to send this packet tomorrow and tomorrow's Tuesday. So I know my host only lives, you know, across town. So I know it'll get to her by Thursday. So maybe on Saturday, not this weekend, because it's like the weekend of Easter and that would be, I'd be a jerk to do this, but maybe on Saturday I'll call her or text her and say, Hey, uh, Hey Danielle, did you get a chance to look at your host packet? Right. And, um, if she says, yeah, I'm like, okay, great. Did you see the host tic-tac-toe? And then I'll explain host tic-tac-toe to her. That's all I'm going to explain that to her through that text conversation or through that Facebook messenger. Okay. Because I don't want to overload her with information. Then maybe later on, I will, like Jess was talking about doing this, especially if it's an online host. You don't overload them. Maybe later on, maybe like later that day or the next day, you message them and say, hey, by the way, did you see the flyer about the host VIP box? That's something you can earn and you explain that to her. Okay. And that's all you explain, right? Just give them little chunks of information. Think about it like a kid, right? Who's studying. They need little chunks of information. Um, uh, so you're going to do that with all the information that they need about their party. If you're talking about theming it, or you're talking about inviting guests online, or if you're talking about how they're going to invite guests. So always offer different options for inviting guests. Um, uh, good, good. Yeah. Dominique sees it's key to meet with her host or talk with them in person or on the phone or video chat, uh, makes a big difference, right? Cause then that's another personal contact. So now they feel like, okay, I didn't just meet her at Sarah's party. It's not just this random consultant. Now I have a relationship with that person, you know, and obviously you're going to find out information about them. You're going to know, you know, who their kids are, what their kids do, like what their hobbies are, maybe where they work. So you're getting to know that person as well. At the same time, you're not just calling and being like, okay, so about being zebra, how much do you want to sell at your party? You're, you're finding out about them. You're fostering a relationship. You are getting to know them. Maybe you became Facebook friends. Maybe you, 
um, have had several conversations. Just fostering that relationship is key because then they're not just a hostess that comes and goes. They become a customer of yours that sticks around. They become an acquaintance or a friend. Okay. Um, because hostesses often become part of your team, right? Part of your team. Uh, customers of parties often become part of your team, right? Um, Michelle Malloy is a perfect example for me. I met her at a party. She checked off on a forum that she might be interested in joining, right? And here we are. Um, yes, if you meet with them and you do their invitations. Now, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Offer different ways to do invites. So um, we have those little postcards. Whatever way you want to create something to mail out, you can do that. Some people truly are not comfortable with that because a lot of people just don't know addresses anymore, right? So like, I don't have that person's address. I'm just going to ask them at work or whatever. They can hand them the invite, but a lot of people want other options. So I always offer Facebook, but not everyone's on Facebook and a lot of people ignore Facebook. And I straight up tell my host that. I'm like, people ignore Facebook. They think it's annoying when they're invited to stuff. What other ways? Can I send you a textable invite? And they're like, sure, that sounds awesome. Most people text. Um, so that's another sad thing. Red Stamp is a free app that you can make invites on. They're textable invites that you can share, digital invites. And they are actually stopping at the end of March. They are closing their doors. We got like a little message on our phones. I know I talked to some people about it. I talked to Danielle about it. Um, <coughs> And um, they're closing their doors at the end of March. So we need to make sure that um, we are finding something else, right? So I have Typerama or something like that on my phone, Typography, Typerama. And I also have, um, oh my gosh, Photify, okay? So I was trying to figure out a way I could do that. Um, well, Julie, uh, really there's no script um, it's just, I literally put a cute picture of our product cause there was a, there was a, um, invite on red stamp that let you put a picture in. So I put a picture of like my favorite product and right now it's that burgundy picture. Love it. Right. So it's got the fireplace and it's got the cheers thing and it's got the wine, the wine shade and all that. So I put that picture there and then I put you're invited and had like a cute script. And then I would just put like Julie's house. Saturday, March 27th at 7 p.m. Come check out, come explore the sensational world of Pink Zebra. Create your own scent from over 55 cents to fragrance your world. Nothing crazy. Just here's when the party is. Here's where it is. Here's what time. Yeah, Dominique. So I haven't looked in the app store yet, but there has to be something else. So if any of you guys in your travels find something else that we can use as a textable invite, like an app, please share it. Please share it to Paisley Freedom um, or Team Dreams, and we will share it <coughs> because we need we need something else. Um, we use Red Stamp. There has to be another. I hope there's another app that we can use, but we'll have to look. I've meant to look the other day and I didn't get a chance. I forgot about it. Um, another option is evites, which is through email. Like, so for my sister and her friends, that would be a terrible option because none of them check their email, but you can ask your host, Hey, I always like to offer a few options for invites. Um, what options would you like? There's a Facebook invite. There's a textable invite. Hopefully we can find another one. Um, there is evites through email. There, I can mail out postcards or invitations. Now, if the host themes her party, I've always sort of created like a paper invite. Nothing's fancy. Print it out on your computer, fold it in threes, put it in an envelope. If it's like a margarita party or a taco party, a fiesta, 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 a wine party, um, then you create and you send. But like I said, like honestly, the past my gosh, the past few parties I've had, I don't think I've sent out invitations in the mail since October because a lot of my hosts have been like, uh, I don't really do addresses, you know? So, and I'm like, well, I'll send them out for you. And they're like, no, no, no. Like, I don't know people's addresses. And I'm like, okay. So you let them have that option. Okay. Um, 
Okay, another thing you're gonna to wanna to do after you've already explained to them the tic-tac-toe and the host VIP box and the goal sheet, you know, their their wish list, you wanna call it their wish list, um, and all that stuff, maybe like a week before their party, remind them about the tic-tac-toe, checking in, right? Um, remind them about pre-orders if they had a goal of having like 150 in pre-orders before their party. But the bottom line is, guys, communication is key. You can't just send a host packet and leave your host in the dark. Okay, if you're not checking in with them, they're not going to feel comfortable with you. They're not going to feel like they have a relationship with you. Um, you also want to check in at least 48 hours before about what time you can arrive to set up. Um, about if they, cause about if they would like you to bring your own table or if they have somewhere in their home in mind that they'd like you to set up, like if they have a table that they want you to use, or if they'd like you to use like their TV stand or their dining room table to set up or whatever. Okay. So you want to, um, check in with them at least 48 hours before. And you, that's an, also a good time to get a final head count. So you know how many people to expect at the party. Um, Okay, let me make sure we've gone through invites. Um, okay, if they're having a home party, please make sure you get them a party on the go bag if possible so they can be more successful with those pre-orders because um, we all know the samples are key, right? They're really important to have um, and they'll sell more if they can smell, right? And then here's something very interesting, and I think it was Jess that shared this with me, um, that there is a zebra who's very successful in parties. Her name is Shannon Stewart, and um, she discussed that she doesn't let just anyone do a party on the go, okay? Like, you can do a party on the go before your home party, or you can do, you know, whatever, but she doesn't let just anyone do a straight up party on the go because they have to have been a host prior to that, um, either of an online party or a home party um, because they don't know how to explain it, okay? Um, they don't know how to explain it. And so they have to, I'm sorry, I just got a message, but they have to be, um, experienced in pink zebra. So they have to have used it. They have to have been a customer or a host, um, before she will let them do a party on the go. So another thing would be to, and I know she heavily host coaches, um, but would just be to make sure that you meet with that person. Obviously if they're doing a party on the go like this, they're probably close by. Um, so you could meet with them and discuss things with them and get any questions that they have. Um, and any misconceptions cleared up before they head out into the world with their pink zebra bag, right? Also, just making sure that they know that you're available to answer questions is key as well because they can always, always message you or hand out your business card and people that have questions can ask. When I have party on the goes out, I always get questions like, oh, what mixes well with Beach Breeze? What mixes well with Fresh Linen? You know, and questions like that. So letting them know that you're available is really helpful as well. But basically guys, the bottom line with host coaching is to communicate with your host. Um, make sure that you get her expectations for her party. Uh, make sure her, they're clear for you and make sure she knows what's happening um, and she knows what to expect and just basically being there to support her, giving her those little tidbits of information at a time and then checking back in with her and confirming and not that any of you aren't, but some of these surveys um, <coughs> from like the field, not from our surveys and the group but some of the surveys that Tom was sharing with us about direct sales in general, we really don't have a great um, reputation with creating relationships uh, with people. And so we don't really have a great reputation for that. The whole direct sales world is just like poor for that area. So people really, they see us coming and they're like, ah! right? So the, the one thing that was really big well, the couple things that were really big that turned people off about home parties was one, their consultant was pushy, okay? It was being super salesy, focused on sales, not worried about 
um, making it a fun experience. Okay. Um, just more worried about sales, sales, sales. Okay. So they were super pushy. They weren't really there trying to offer help and, you know, solutions for customers. They were just worried about their sales. So they were super pushy. They were late to the party, which kind of makes me crazy. Like what, what are you talking about? Um, and they didn't know their product. They couldn't explain things. Okay. So please make sure you're prepared for your parties. Um, make sure you know like what's out of stock and all that. And I know that like things change in a moment sometimes, especially in the late fall um, when things are crazy. But make sure, you know, I check my, my out of stock list like right before I go into my parties um, to make sure that I know what's out of stock. And then obviously placing those orders ASAP so you don't have issues. Um, and then just knowing your product and knowing, you know, how to answer some of the questions you're going to get. Um, if you have any questions, guys, we're always here for you. Um, we have a ton of resources in the back office. We have a ton of videos here on different, uh, you know, aspects of the business, but, um, just feel free to ask anytime, but make sure that you're knowledgeable about your product. You're on time for your parties and you make it fun and not about the sales. Cause if you make it fun, your sales will go up. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I'm not any expert, but um, just some tips that have worked for us in the past. And if you guys find something else other than Red Stamp to use, please share it. I'm going to get off here and look now. All right, guys, have a good night.